Josie was an 18-month-old youngster who was brought to the hospital, Johns Hopkins, for um, severe burns. And while her care required lots of attention, she was making great gains. And two days before she was set to go home, uh, Josie's mom was providing care for her and realized that something just wasn't right. And what she realized was she was looking at her child and she realized that her child had lost so much weight. She looked dehydrated. So while Sorrel was speaking to the nurses and speaking to the doctors, other doctors were also coming in and uh, examining Josie. And the breakdown occurred that the communication did not take place amongst all the doctors, all the healthcare professionals, uh, and the parents as well. And so yes, narcotics were given to Josie when they were not supposed to be given to Josie. And she went into cardiac arrest as a result of the narcotics and her dehydration. So Sorrel partnered with the medical center in which her child died, the Hopkins Medical Center. And she partnered with them to create a patient safety unit and to ensure that they had checks and balances uh, for patient safety with regard to pediatric care. So she's also worked with the University of Pittsburgh to create a telephone hotline for families and patients when they feel that there is some sort of error occurring or they need information with regard to the medical care. And it's all with the basic mission to spread the word and understanding about how medical errors are real. I think anyone who attends this presentation on September 17th, first, they'll be inspired. They'll be inspired to seek out more information about medical errors. And secondly, they'll be inspired to then become change agents. Whether it's just when they're in the hospital to keeping their eyes open and not being afraid to speak up with the healthcare professionals and ask questions. And if we're part of a patient-centered care model, we need to speak up. We need to inform ourselves. We need to become part of the solution.